Snorlax. Snorlax. What the fuck is Snorlax? Snorlax. Professor Oak's berry bushes! I can't believe it! There isn't a single berry left! Snorlax ate them all! Man, it was hungry! But what about all the other Pokemon that like orange berries? I guess I'll just have to plant some more. The faster they grow, the better. Hmm, I wonder what I'll need to make the berry bushes grow. I want to make sure I'm planting them right. I bet Ciara could give me a few pointers. I'm going to give her a call. Hey, Tracy. Hey, see ya. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Oh, just Snorlax. It's sleeping in the berry bushes. I don't see any berries on those bushes. That's because it ate them all. And that's why I'm calling you. Okay, what can I do for you? I'm going to plant some more berry bushes. But since it's Professor Oak's garden, I want to do a good job. You know, give the plants everything they need to grow. Oh, yeah. Well, I can definitely help you out there. Plants make their food. Oh, cool. Plants feed themselves. I don't need to worry. Well, yes, they make their own food through a process called photosynthesis. But like any food we eat, it's got to have the right ingredients in the recipe. And the recipe for plant food is plenty of sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water. But how do you feed a plant sunlight? In every plant cell, there is chlorophyll. Chlorophyll absorbs the energy in the sunlight to power making food from the carbon dioxide and water. Where does it get the water from? When it rains or someone waters it? Right. So when it rains, a plant soaks up water from the ground through its roots. The water is then carried up through the stem to the leaves. Now, the leaves breathe in carbon dioxide through tiny holes called stomata. At that point, the chlorophyll in the leaves takes over, using the energy from sunlight to turn carbon dioxide and water into plant food and oxygen. Wow, so chlorophyll are like kitchens for plants. I guess you could look at it that way. It's also what makes the plant green. Whoa, I wish I had chlorophyll making my food. Green is definitely my color. <laughs> well, chlorophyll is only found in plants, but it already makes something very important for us all. Well, I eat lots of green vegetables. <laughs> and you also breathe in oxygen or air. I love fresh oxygen. You have plants to thank for it. When the plant takes in carbon dioxide and water, the sunlight converts them into sugar for the plant. It also releases oxygen. That's so cool. Yeah, that's why planting trees is good for the environment and you. Wow, I better get to planting. I want to do my part, but I'm going to need your help. Let's show them how it's done. Okay, here are all the elements of photosynthesis. Will you help me put the cycle together? Click and drag the right elements into the right blanks, so it'll tell the process of photosynthesis. You can use each element more than once, and for each correct answer, I'll plant a berry bush. Plants need blank, blank, and blank to make food through photosynthesis. Click and drag the right elements into the blanks. All right, plants take in carbon from the air. All right, sunlight is the energy that powers photosynthesis. Yes, plants definitely need water for photosynthesis. Water is carried up from the blank through the blank to the leaves. Oh yeah, water travels through the roots and stem to get to the leaves. Carbon dioxide is absorbed through the blank.
You got it. The stomata in the leaves absorb carbon dioxide. Plants use blank to power the process of photosynthesis. That's right. Sunlight provides the energy for photosynthesis. Blank in the plant cell absorbs sunlight. Awesome! Chlorophyll in the leaves absorbs sunlight. Photosynthesis makes blank as well as blank. Right on! Photosynthesis makes sugar for the plant and oxygen for the atmosphere. Wahoo! We did it! That's the process of photosynthesis for you. I think you've got it down. Yeah, down to the ground, just like these berry bushes I just planted. Mm-hmm. Now that you know what they need to feed, you're ready to raise the roots. <laughs> Definitely. Thanks for all your help, Ciara. Anytime. Talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye. Match it up. Click and drag the vocabulary word into the bush with the right definition. Awesome. Match it up. You got it. Match it up. Nice one. Match it up. Excellent. Match it up. Nice work. Match it up. Click and drag the vocabulary word into the bush with the right definition. Awesome. Match it up. Excellent. Match it up. Nice one. Match it up. Nice work. Match it up. Nice one. Awesome. Look at how much they've grown. Snorlax. <laughs> okay, buddy. You can have some of the berries. <laughs> Photosynthesis doesn't just make food for the plant. Looks like it also makes a very good meal for Snorlax. Snorlax. Try again. Try again. Plants need carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight for photosynthesis. Try again. Water is absorbed from the ground by the roots, and then it travels up the stem to the leaves. Carbon dioxide is absorbed by tiny holes in the leaves. Try again.
Carbon dioxide is absorbed by tiny holes in the leaf. Plants use blank to power the process of photosynthesis. Solar power is a form of energy that comes from the sun. Try again. Actually, it takes the same part that makes it green to absorb sunlight. Try again. Photosynthesis makes food for the plant, but it also makes something we breathe, too. Try again. Will you help me put the cycle together? Click and drag the right elements into the right blanks, so it'll tell the process of photosynthesis. You can use each element more than once. And for each correct answer, I'll plant a berry bush. All right. Sunlight is the energy that powers photosynthesis. All right. Sunlight is the energy that powers photosynthesis. All right. Sunlight is the energy that powers photosynthesis. Bruh. Try again. Match it up. 